Ever wondered how the financial giants play with their money behind the scenes? Picture this. You've got a crisp $100 bill, and you're trying to figure out how to make it grow like Jack's beanstalk. Well, today, we're diving into the secret world of banks and their not-so-secret use of life insurance. No, we won't be cracking a vault. Instead, we'll unravel the mysteries of how banks leverage a financial tool that's not just for rainy days. So, grab your magnifying glass, detective hat, and let's uncover how banks really use life insurance. By the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge of how banks strategically utilize life insurance. And trust me, it's not your typical run-of-the-mill life insurance spiel. We're diving deep into the covert tactics banks employ, leaving you with a fresh perspective on the financial game with the knowledge on how banks strategically employ life insurance to safeguard their assets, boost their balance sheets, and even play the long game with tax benefits. Before we explore the intricate dance between financial institutions and life insurance, let's take a moment to set the stage. In the vast realm of finance, certain terms emerge as protagonists, shaping the narrative of wealth management and strategic planning. Bank-owned life insurance, BOLI, and corporate-owned life insurance, COLI, are two such characters, each playing a unique role in the financial symphony of banks and corporations. As we navigate through the upcoming points, Envision Boley as the secret weapon in a bank's financial arsenal, a cash value game where each move is calculated for safety and growth. On the corporate side, Coley takes center stage, offering a bespoke dance with executives, intertwining loyalty and financial strategy. Now that we are set, let's get started, detail by detail. The bank's cash value game. Well, have you ever pondered how banks make their billions work even harder for them? Well, it's not just about stashing money in vaults. It's about a financial wizardry called cash value life insurance. While banks might not shout it from the rooftops, their play in this field is as strategic as a game of chess. Let's explore how banks invest hefty sums in cash, value life insurance products, creating a financial fortress that stands tall on their balance sheets. Banks aren't merely stashing their cash under metaphorical mattresses. The artistry lies in the cash value game, where banks strategically allocate billions into life insurance products' cash value holdings. It's akin to a financial chessboard where each move is carefully calculated. The general account, BOLI, and the hybrid account, BOLI, become the pieces on this chessboard, offering stability and growth. By strategically positioning their funds in the cash value arena, Banks ensure that every dollar doesn't just sit, but dances its way into a tax-deferred future. Picture this. Major financial institutions like Bankopolis and Wealth Wellsprings discreetly tucking away billions in the cash value holdings of their life insurance products. It's not just a cozy spot. It's a tier one asset, a financial stronghold that spells safety for banks. They dance between different types of BOLI accounts, from the reliable general account BOLI to the more adventurous hybrid account BOLI. This isn't just about the present, it's a chess move for the future. Why? Because the cash value grows tax deferred, making it a long-term play that keeps on giving. So why do banks engage in this cash value tango? It's a dance of safety and growth, where a tier one asset not only cushions the balance sheet, but also provides a tax deferred haven for funds. Banks don't just waltz into this arena, they strategically position their money, ensuring it's not just an investment, but a financial masterpiece. Decoding the Boley Mystery Now that we've peeked into the bank's cash value playbook, let's unravel the Boley Mystery. What exactly is this bank-owned life insurance, and why do banks cozy up to it like a cat to a sunny window? We're diving deep into the specifics, breaking down the nuances of this financial powerhouse that has banks nodding in approval. Bank-owned life insurance, BOLI, isn't your everyday insurance policy. It's the financial equivalent of a Swiss army knife, versatile and strategic. Major mutual companies like MassWealth and Guardian play a significant role in shaping this BOLI landscape. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all affair. Banks, with their risk-averse mindset, opt for a modified endowment contract, MEs, turning the BOLI experience into a tax-deferred journey. BOLI, short for bank-owned life insurance, isn't your average insurance policy. 
It's a single premium, universal life insurance policy, a financial superhero in its own right. While major mutual companies like MassWealth and Guardian play a significant role in the Boley space, it's not the whole life insurance party. These companies, known for their individual whole life products, craft a different tale when dealing with banks. They present an attractive Boley product, a modified endowment contract, MEEC, that packs a tax-deferred punch. So, why the MEC twist? Banks aren't in it for the loans. Unlike your friend who borrows money against their life insurance, banks steer clear of this avenue. The MEC status means the cash value grows tax-deferred, providing a sweet spot for banks to park their capital without the worry of immediate tax repercussions. Boley isn't just a financial instrument. It's a strategic move that speaks volumes about a bank's risk-averse stance in the financial world. If you like our video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. The Boley Advantage Over Loans We've touched on banks avoiding loans against their life insurance policies, but let's delve deeper into why they keep their distance. Why don't banks play the borrow and lend game, and what sets their strategy apart from individuals seeking a cash injection? In this section, we're pulling back the curtain on the financial theater and exploring why banks don't see Boley as a piggy bank. In this intricate ballet, banks choose not to tap into the allure of borrowing against their life insurance policies. Unlike the individual who might eye their life insurance as a quick lending source, banks have a different choreography. The interest rates on Boley loans present a financial hurdle. They pirouette at higher costs, acting as a barricade that dissuades banks from engaging in the loan routine. In the grand financial performance, banks choose the elegance of letting the cash value dance undisturbed over the riskier move of borrowing. Imagine this, a world where banks refuse to dip into the cash value cookie jar. While individuals might eye their life insurance as a potential lending source, banks have a different play. The loan interest rates on Boley products are higher than those on whole life products, creating a financial roadblock for banks. The higher costs act as a deterrent, discouraging banks from taking the loan route. In their financial ballet, banks don't borrow against their policies. Instead, they let the cash value pirouette undisturbed. So, why the loan detour? It's not just about the interest rates, it's about the entire choreography of Boley. Banks aren't in the lending business when it comes to their life insurance. They're in it for the long-term benefits, the tier one safety, and the strategic dance that keeps their financial stance unshaken. Corporate Dance with Boley. We've uncovered the secrets of banks and Boley, but did you know that corporations have their own dance with life insurance? It's not just about individuals and banks. Corporations step onto the financial stage with their moves. In this section, let's explore how corporations, big and small, waltz with life insurance, creating a financial symphony that echoes through their balance sheets. In the grand financial ballroom, corporations take center stage with their own moves. Enter corporate-owned life insurance, Soli, a bespoke dance designed for both mammoth enterprises and nimble startups. It's not a mere purchase of policies, it's the golden handcuff strategy. Imagine a corporation, BizBallot, investing in whole life insurance for its executives. It's more than a financial investment, it's a strategic play to ensure loyalty. Executives, enticed by the promise of a retirement benefit, twirl their way through the corporate landscape, knowing that a financial reward awaits them after completing the required vesting period. Enter the world of golden handcuffs and corporate waltzes. Corporations, both mammoth enterprises and nimble startups, have their own life insurance game plan, corporate-owned life insurance, COALI. Take a company like BizBallet, for instance, orchestrating a dance of loyalty with whole life insurance policies for its executives. It's not just an executive benefit, it's a choreographed performance. Executives, enticed by the allure of a retirement benefit, traverse the corporate landscape, knowing that a financial reward awaits them post the required vesting period. Why do corporations engage in this financial dance? It's not just about policies, it's about the delicate choreography of loyalty. Corporations use COLI to create a financial bond with executives, ensuring commitment and dedication. The dance isn't just about immediate benefits, it's about the long-term loyalty that comes from the promise of a well-earned financial encore. 
Funding flexibility in the corporate waltz. We've seen corporations hit the financial dance floor, but did you know they have the flexibility to choose their dance duration? Unlike banks with their short-term sprint or individuals seeking a quick cash injection, corporations sway between financial strategies. In this section, let's unravel why corporations opt for the choose-your-own-adventure novel when it comes to funding their life insurance policies. For corporations, the dance isn't just a one-time affair. It's a financial adventure. The funding flexibility is a key feature in the corporate waltz with life insurance. From short-term sprints to long-term marathons, corporations decide the rhythm of their financial dance. Whether it's a quick foxtrot or a prolonged tango, corporations tailor their funding strategy to align with their unique financial goals and objectives. Unlike the one-size-fits-all scenario in many financial tales, corporations have the liberty to choose their dance duration. The flexibility in funding becomes a pivotal aspect of the corporate waltz with life insurance. It's not just about the steps, it's about the rhythm, a quick sprint for some, a marathon for others. Corporations, with their diverse financial goals, get to decide the tempo, ensuring that their funding strategy aligns seamlessly with their unique dance on the financial stage. So, why the funding flexibility in the corporate waltz? It's all about tailoring the financial strategy to fit the unique needs of each corporate player. Whether it's a short-term foxtrot or a long-term tango, corporations find their groove on the dance floor of life insurance, ensuring that their financial rhythm resonates with their distinct goals. And there you have it, the intricate dance of banks and corporations with life insurance. From the covert maneuvers of banks in the cash value realm to the strategic waltz of corporations with COLI, life insurance isn't just a safety net, it's a financial ballet. So, the next time you hear about banks and corporations embracing life insurance, know that it's not just about policies, it's about financial choreography that ensures a symphony of safety, reward, and strategic balance. So what's your move? Well, it's your decision to make, However, this video is your key to fulfill that plan. Now, if you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more financial insights. Stay tuned and let's unlock the secrets to getting rich together.